Hi, my name's Fawn Like a Baby Deer and welcome to my channel. I got a new mic, so hopefully you can hear me better since the last video I posted. Can everybody hear me? Can everybody see me? Excellent. So I have transformed a vanity that I had gotten a while back and I mean a while back because I was actually supposed to get this like video done in August or September of 2020 and that just didn't happen because of 2020 lack of motivation. So here I am, better late than never, right? I have been in the process of trying to transform my room into like this fantasy Rococo-esque type of aesthetic. <laughs> Um, because I've never actually had like a style before and this was just something that I wanted to adopt. One of the main pieces I thought I would get myself was a vanity. I have always wanted a vanity. I think they just like make you feel special and since I've had this vanity I have actually been taking better care of myself. Back in August and September, I was searching all of the Facebook marketplace to try and find the perfect vanity. And I ended up coming across a French provincial vanity, which was like perfect for the aesthetic that I was going for. Uh, the problem was is that it was definitely in the hands of a mom because it was slathered in turquoise spray paint with terrible decals of what I can only describe as forever and always be kind love mom um I remember showing the pictures to my roommate of like yeah I'm gonna buy this and he was like well it's got good bones so I knew I had my, my work cut out for me so without much further ado I'd like to introduce you to be kind love mom Okay, all right, here we go. The first thing that I did was take out all of the hardware and put it to the side to clean and paint later. The overall color scheme I was going for was a classic and simple satin white with rich gold. So it was clear that the turquoise paint was like a quick paint job as there were turquoise drips and oversprays everywhere and lots of spaces that were not fully painted, such as the drawers in the vanity's main compartment. The paint even covered this like fake keyhole in the front and the paint was so caked on, I had difficulties taking the keyhole off, as you can clearly see me struggling with my toddler hands. Now for the part I was dreading the most, taking off the decals. Uh, this is so bad. This has been on here for ages. I think I might have to sand it and Dead. That's fine. I lied. It was not fine. I had this funny feeling I would have to resort to sanding and I knew it was going to be bad because I thought to wear my wrist brace. Those suckers had been on there for so long the heat would not loosen up the adhesive and it was coming off in chunks and flakes instead. Thus, every fabricator's worst enemy, sanding. Now, I know I could have made this easier if I had an orbital sander, but I don't own one, so unfortunately this is what I was working with. Woo! How you doing? I did it! You did it? I did it. And yet, I still had so much more.
So after all that ridiculous and yet necessary sanding and throwing in two days of priming and painting, it was finally time to add the gold details. As you can see, most of this I did slightly freehand with some masking tape and the vanity's grooves to help guide my hand. So I'm pretty picky about my golds. I have a particular like favorite gold paint, which is Rust-Oleum's American Accents Ultra Cover in gold. It comes out very rich, which is what I wanted. In order for me to paint it with a brush, I would spray some in a paper bowl so it would pool, and then I would dip my paintbrush into it and just paint it on. Because it comes out of an aerosol can, the paint is really thin, and I would have to paint it in layers sometimes. However, if you let it sit in the bowl for a few seconds, it thickens itself up and acts like normal paint. Because it's spray paint, it dries fairly fast, so I got to peel the masking tape away usually right afterwards, which is so satisfying. Now, it was time to figure out the mirror. Wow, that came off way easier than the last time. Oh. <laughs> You're prepared though. I know. Kind of. Oh, shit. I definitely broke one side of the mirror. It's because you only need like half of it, right? <laughs> right. Oh. Look at it, I've got a weapon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> will it work? Who knows? Oh. This either will or won't go well. Yeah. I have two other mirrors in the <laughs> two more chances. There were a total of three mirrors in the garage from previous roommates that lived in the house and since no one was using them, I decided to repurpose one of them by cutting it down into my vanity mirror. Now stand by for the ripping sound. Uh, here you'll find some uh, old familiar friends that we might have lost a little bit ago. Uh, it was my first time cutting a mirror and I was super happy about it. Next, I 3D printed some mirror tabs to attempt to set it into place, which wasn't going well for me. I have force on it, okay? And I'm gonna start small. That is not small. Oh, it's still recording. It's recording. I want everyone to know, whoever watches this video, that she was I'm so sorry, rude I when terrible. I was just trying to be helpful. Do you want me to start it for you? No, I have to learn to do this myself, goddammit. They, they all saw it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to make myself look innocent. <laughs> do you want me? No, I don't. I need to learn to do this. Everyone, she was such a pain in the ass to deal with, like always. I also primed and painted the hardware, which I forgot to show earlier. Uh, it's also been months since this project, and I'm genuinely impressed on how much the paint has held up in all of the hardware. I also ended up buying and painting some onlays gold and then fixing them to the mirror and painted the interiors of the drawers gold as well before finally finishing it all up. Run down, beaten, turquoise, abused with bee decals, wanting a new life, craving it, hoping for it, wishing to now. I am 
so proud of myself on this project. I personally think it turned out so good and way better than before. It totally fits the royal core, royal core, royal core aesthetic <laughs> I was going for. So I hope you enjoyed that little adventure. As much sanding as I did, it was definitely worth it to me. <laughs> the end product was just beautiful. Again, my name is Fawn Like a Baby Deer. I just like to make things. And if you want to stick around to watch me make things, feel free to subscribe, like, comment if you like the video. Um, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye. Oh my god, I can't talk. This is ridiculous.